I'm Cheryl, and this is Sleep Tight Relax, a calming bedtime show for the young and young at heart. Our story takes place in a small town on Prince Edward Island. Kat struggles with focusing on her homework, often getting lost in daydreams. One day, as she doodles alongside her best friend, Mouse, their combined imagination brings the drawings to life. Their animated notebook characters, ranging from historical figures to mathematical numbers, embark on adventures that make the academic subjects engaging and fun. Through these lively interactions, Kat discovers the same focus she applies to her beloved painting can be channeled into her studies. By viewing learning as a creative adventure, Kat and Mouse can tackle their assignments with renewed enthusiasm and joy. Before we start our story, let's take some time to get cozy and comfortable. Turn down your lights if you'd like. You may want to pull your covers up tight so that you feel warm and protected. You can cuddle with a stuffed friend or a pillow. Let the quietness surround you. If there's ambient noise, acknowledge it and let it fade into the background. Imagine you are surrounded by Kat's vibrant paintings in her cozy room on Prince Edward Island. You don't know what her room looks like, but that's okay, because you have an amazing imagination. In this room, a gentle breeze from the open window stirs the curtains and carries with it the distant sound of the sea. Maybe you hear seagulls, And since we are in a small town, likely crows, too. The room is bathed in the warm, golden glow of twilight. Let's take some deep breaths. I would like you to close your eyes. Picture a blank canvas in front of you. As you take a deep breath through your nose, Imagine the canvas filling with bright, swirling colors. Hold for a moment. As you exhale through your mouth, see the colors settling into a beautiful painting. Repeat this three times, visualizing different paintings each time. Breathe in through your nose. Hold for a moment. Now breathe out and create a wonderful painting on the canvas in your imagination. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. Now breathe out. This time, inhale deeply and imagine drawing a line on your paper. As you exhale slowly, watch as the line playfully turns into a doodle, dancing and twirling. With each breath, let your doodle evolve into different characters on the page. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. Now breathe out. Use your imagination to see the pages of a magical notebook in front of you. Take a deep breath in, feeling the fresh scent of paper. As you exhale, turn a page, revealing a new animated adventure that unfolds before your eyes. Continue flipping the pages with each breath allowing new stories to emerge and old ones to conclude. Breathe in. 
hold for a moment. Now breathe out. Now that you are feeling more relaxed, let's start our story. At the end of our story, I will leave you with a touch of relaxing music. Cat's Magical Homework Adventure In the heart of a small town on Prince Edward Island, in an old house that had seen better days, but was bursting with charm, Kathleen, known affectionately as Cat to everyone who knew her, sat cross-legged on the floor of her bedroom. Her room was a kaleidoscope of colors, every shade and hue representing a fragment of her imagination splashed across canvas after canvas that lined the walls. Amidst her paintings of otherworldly landscapes and fantastical creatures, Kat seemed the most at peace. She often got so immersed in her painting that time seemed to stand still. However, today was not one of those days. Instead of a paintbrush, a pencil was in her hand. Instead of a canvas, there was a pile of school books and notebooks spread out before her on the kitchen table. Homework. The very word felt like a stone in her shoe. Cat sighed pushing a strand of her hair behind her ear, leaving a smudge of blue paint in its wake. In her imagination, math problems turned into rebellious little imps. History dates tangled like a ball of yarn. And English essays? They seemed to play hide-and-seek, elusive and always just out of reach. She looked longingly at her paint-splattered sneakers, then at her freshly made grilled cheese sandwich with a side of marshmallows. Strange? Perhaps to others, but to Cat, it was simply comforting. The seventh grade at Birchwood Junior High School had brought a wave of new responsibilities. If only, she thought, she could dive into her paintings and leave the real world behind. But as she was about to discover, sometimes magic can be found in the most unexpected places. And today, it was waiting to leap off the pages of her notebooks. The refrigerator's hum was the only sound that filled the kitchen occasionally interrupted by the soft scratching of Cat's pencil on paper. It was a quiet neighborhood, with none of the loud noises that she remembered when they lived in Ontario. She was a come-from-away, or a CFA for short. The numbers and words before her blurred together. She rested her chin on her hand for a moment, letting her gaze drift toward the window. The swaying trees and the clouds floating lazily in the blue sky seemed so inviting. Then, a doodle started to form on the edge of her notebook. First, a simple curvy line, which soon became a pathway. Around it, Cat sketched small trees and little houses, with chimneys puffing out tiny clouds. The more she drew, the more she felt herself being drawn into this doodled world. In her daydream, she wandered down the pathway, listening to the imagined whispers of the trees and greeting the doodled inhabitants of the houses. Suddenly, a familiar voice jolted her back to reality. What's you drawn? It was Mouse, her best friend, peering over her shoulder with a big grin. Mouse was his nickname, of course, because 
no one knew how to pronounce his real name. His curly hair was even messier than usual, and his glasses were slightly askew, probably from rushing over to Cat's house as soon as school ended. Cat sighed. Ah, oh, just daydreaming, Mouse. Wish I could hop into this doodle world and leave all this homework behind. Mouse chuckled, sitting down next to her. Looks fun. Let's daydream together. He began to add his own doodles to the page, intertwining them with cats. Together, they laughed and imagined fantastical stories about the characters they created. However, as much fun as the daydream was, their homework still lay untouched, waiting. Yet, as they laughed and sketched, the weight of unfinished assignments lingered in the back of their minds. Time had passed, and the sun's angle shifted, casting long shadows across the kitchen. As Kat leaned back, stretching her arms, she caught sight of something odd. One of her doodled trees was swaying on its own. She blinked, thinking maybe she was just tired. But then, a little doodled bird flapped its wings and hopped from one tree to another. Mouse, engrossed in sketching a small dragon, didn't notice until Cat gently nudged him. They both stared in wonder as their drawings began to animate. The pathway they had doodled shimmered and beckoned. The houses exhaled little puffs of smoke, and the characters they had created began to chatter and interact. Mouse's dragon, now taking flight, let out a tiny roar, sending the other doodled creatures into a fit of excitement. Cat's brave knight, armed with a pencil-like lance, tried to calm the situation, parading around with a mission. But it wasn't just their joint doodle coming alive. Looking around, Cat noticed that even her math problems were animating. Numbers danced and twirled, creating solutions while the English words formed into sentences and paraded around the edges of her notebook, telling their own tales. Historical figures from her textbook peeked from the pages, striking poses and recreating famous moments. While both were initially wide-eyed and speechless, quickly their astonishment turned to sheer delight. Their notebook had transformed into a magical realm, with every drawing and note pulsating with life and energy. And with each passing second, the line between reality and imagination became wonderfully blurred. As Cat and Mouse watched the animated sketches, they couldn't help but be engrossed by the characters' interactions. The brave knight approached a dancing numeral and asked for directions, leading to an impromptu math lesson. In another corner, the witty English sentences chatted with historical figures, weaving together tales of the past with lessons in grammar. It was then that Cat realized something. The joy she felt while painting and the focus it demanded was not so different from the concentration needed to grasp the subjects at hand. The characters, with their lively animation, were showcasing how interconnected everything could be. The knight's journey to find his destination was similar to solving a math problem step by step. The intertwining conversations of words and history highlighted the beauty and structure of writing. 
Mouse seemed to have a similar realization, watching with rapt attention as his dragon helped the knight light up a dark path, symbolizing the way knowledge illuminated challenges. He whispered, It's like they're showing us how to approach our lessons, isn't it? Cat nodded, her previous aversion to homework fading. It's about finding the fun and the story in everything. If I can focus on painting for hours, I can surely give the same focus to understanding these lessons. Together, with more enthusiasm than before, Cat and Mouse began to engage with their lively notebook characters. They asked questions, solved problems, and slowly but surely, the daunting pile of homework became manageable. They realized that by seeing the fun and creativity in their studies, they could channel the same passion and focus they had for their hobbies into their schoolwork. The challenge wasn't the task itself, but the perspective with which they approached it. As twilight painted the sky with hues of lavender and gold, the lively play performed by the characters in the notebook began to slow. One by one, they took a bow, waving farewell to cat and mouse, before settling back into their sketched forms. The once chaotic pages now lay organized, filled with completed assignments and colorful doodles, side by side. Cat closed the notebook gently, a satisfied smile playing on her lips. You know, she mused, looking over to Mouse, sometimes the hardest part is just starting. Once you dive in, Things aren't as tough as they seem. After quickly eating one of Cat's leftover marshmallows, Mouse nodded in agreement, adjusting his glasses. It's all about how we look at things. Our imagination can be both a playground and a tool. Sometimes it's not about the work itself, but how we tackle it. Today, We didn't just do homework. We went on an adventure. Mouse chuckled. True. Every page was a new world. I guess when we use our imagination, even the ordinary can become extraordinary. Smiling, Cat gave Mouse more of her snack. Having an imagination makes you hungry. The time after school wasn't just about finished homework. It was about discovering a new perspective and understanding that every task, no matter how daunting, with the right mindset could become an exciting adventure. Kat, now with a renewed sense of determination, tidied up her workspace. As she reached for a paintbrush, she realized that the magic of the evening wasn't confined to her notebook. With focus and imagination, every canvas, every challenge, and every day could be transformed into a masterpiece. The magic in our story isn't just in animated doodles or playful dragons, but in how two friends discover the joy in tasks that once seemed boring. You too have a great imagination, which you can use to approach tasks that you may only sometimes feel are very interesting, even though you know they are important. As I leave you with some relaxing music, I would like you to tell yourself, Every challenge is an invitation to explore and learn. I embrace it with curiosity and imagination. My focus and creativity 
can transform any task into a delightful adventure. With the right perspective, even the ordinary can become extraordinary. I am calm, relaxed, and peaceful. Sleep tight. <laughs>